Good morning, everybody. Ollie Richards here, and I'm answering your language learning questions, which is uh, the whole point of this series. I'm taking questions from uh, students in my uncovered courses, and um, yeah, answering questions. That's all. There, that's all there is to it, really. And today we're talking about motivation. And I've got a, a similar question from Sophia, Perry, and Nora, and they're asking, you know, what happens on these these days? And we all have them. The day when you wake up and you just you're not feeling it. Uh, in fact, the one. Uh, Sophia said, some days I just hate the language that I'm learning. And, um, and Nora is talking about lockdown and how she was super motivated at the, at the beginning, but then after three months of lockdown where she is in Hong Kong, like it, it's just starting to get a little bit difficult to be highly motivated every day. And let me just say, first of all, that I would be worried if that were not the case. We're all human. We all have ups and downs. None of us wake up feeling great every single morning. At least I don't, I'm not sure if you do, I think most people don't. And so with anything like learning a language, which is a big, long project, there are gonna be days when this, when you feel like you don't wanna do a thing, you don't wanna hear a word in the language. This is totally normal. And I think the first thing to say about this is that you've gotta accept as normal that you will feel this. It's not a nice feeling, is it? It's, a, it's an unpleasant feeling to, to have this kind of, this motivational drop. Or it's not a nice feeling to wake up in the morning and not want to do the thing that you're supposed to be concentrating on doing, right? But as soon as you accept that this is all part and parcel of the process, then you can just go easy on yourself. Be kind to yourself. Friends of mine are always telling me to be kind to myself. <laughs> Say, Ollie, just, just take it easy. Just go, go easy on yourself. Because I'm always, like, I'm the first person, I'll beat myself up about stuff more than anybody out there about anything, any given topic, I'll, I'll be beating myself up about it. So I have these days as well where I don't want to do a thing. And really, I think the, the, the solution to this can be as simple as saying, that's okay. Give yourself permission to not be motivated and don't take it as an existential crisis. The fact that you're not motivated one day or two days or even for a whole week uh, to learn a language doesn't mean that the, the 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 sky is falling down, that you're you've lost your purpose in life, that that you're a failure, any of this stuff, it just means you're having a bad day. As simple as that. So I'm a you know I, I, what I would say, just take the day off, take the day off. Don't chuck your lock your textbook in a drawer, shut your computer away, go for a walk, do something totally different, and don't pressure yourself to do it for the sake of it. I think it's also important to try to take these periods of demotivation into account a little bit and you might find from time to time that you are actually pushing yourself a little bit too hard studying a bit too much and it can be the case that by taking your foot off the gas just a little bit and maybe instead of doing that two hours a day you reduce it to one hour a day or you reduce the one hour a day to 30 minutes a day something like that and then although you're doing less every day and what you gain from that is fresh batteries, which means you can keep studying for longer periods of time. And you might find that that overall is the best strategy because it really is a tortoise and the hare situation. Right? The slow and steady wins the race with, with language learning. You're not gonna be fluent in the next month. Sorry, it's not gonna happen. It's gonna take a lot longer than that. So you've gotta be in it for the long haul. So, you know, with these periods of motivation, you, 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 it's gonna happen. Uh, demotivation, rather. It's gonna happen, you're gonna have off days. So don't worry about it, it's fine. Give yourself permission to feel down, take time off, maybe reduce the amount that you're trying to study every day and just stick to this, uh, the long, consistent, uh, keep your eye on the on the horizon rather than on the next step. Hope that's helpful. Hope that's motivated you. This is, this should be, oh, I don't know, this is, is this motivating? I hope so. I hope I've motivated you to, to get out of the, of the trough and then head back towards the peak. <laughs> Good luck, and I'll see you back in the next video.